What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are broadcasting from upstate New York, uh, just where we're at during the holidays. Uh, but there were some new Sword and Shield cards that got announced for the upcoming Japanese set, VMAX Rising, and it's expected that these cards will drop in the February set that we'll get in the in English. Uh, got all this information from PokeBeach.com, so definitely go visit there every once in a while to stay up to date on your latest TCG news. And let's go right into our first card, which I think is absolutely insane and that is the Galarian Cursola this thing yes it is a stage one it only has 100 HP but actually that's fine uh, it does have an attack called corner for one psychic one color that only does 60 damage and prevents your defending Pokemon the defending Pokemon from retreating during their next turn actually there's a couple of cards that do something along those lines and this one pairs perfectly with its ability perish body which sounds insane if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack flip a coin if heads the attacking Pokemon is knocked out. Just straight up knocked out. This thing is sounds amazing. Let's say that you're up against, let's say VMAX is super popular right now. I don't know, let's just say like, I don't know, they drop their Snorlax or Lapras or whatever, then they evolve it to the VMAX, and then they're up against, oh, Cursola. Well, that means they have a 50% chance when they knock this thing out, it only has 100, 100 HP, that you'll trade one prize for three prize, and it's kind of out of their uh, uh, ability to uh, work around that, especially if they can't retreat. They'll have to use Switch or something. But in general, if you run V or V Max, like this thing will just be a problem. You're just, it's just a bad trade. Even if they get unlucky, get a Tails, like, you know, you have to do this. Um, eventually the odds will catch up to you, especially if we're talking V Max. Like V theoretically would be even trade because um, you miss half the time uh, but VMAX that doesn't apply so this card is very interesting I feel like it's a perfect card to set a balance between oh you can't just go straight VMAX you have to have a balance of um, V Pokemon VMAX Pokemon and maybe non V Pokemon altogether um, you know in today's uh, standard which will obviously change today's meta like the decks that basically run like Nuzguz or something like that um, potentially even things like ADP you know they just like it can't survive against Galarian Corsola just because the Parish body ability so this card is sounds crazy to me and I'm really excited for it to come out next we have Duraldin um, this card I feel like it's pretty well designed uh, however I think it will come up a little bit short but let's go over it so it does have metal sharpener for 30 damage attach a metal energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon kind of nice adds flexible you can do it to yourself you can do it to the bench and then power beam for 110 damage so I feel like this card you know it's it's pretty well designed, but just comes up short in all aspects. Doesn't have enough HP. The fact that it could probably very easily be one shot is not good. The one energy ramp up, I don't think is strong enough. And uh, I guess it, in, it is color, so you could doesn't need to be a metal deck, but it does ramp up metal. Uh, but compared to other ramp up cards like Frostmoth, it's unlimited ramp up for a hand, or Rillaboom, which I think is the best one, two grass energy from your deck. Uh, this thing just doesn't stand a chance against those and doesn't do enough damage as well with this uh, power beam attack even if you use the Galarian Berserker which gives plus 20 damage to metal Pokemon attacks for each one even if you get two of them it's still not enough we're talking like 70 and 150 um, so you know theoretically this thing could be turned good turn one with like Zacian V or something like that just so it can get uh, a turn two a nice attack off but or if you're going second but uh Beyond that, this thing doesn't really have a good home, doesn't do a, do enough ramp up, and doesn't do enough damage. So, kind of falls short on all fronts. Sonya, the <laughs> the girl that just kind of follows you all over the Galarian region. Every single town, she's there almost waiting for you. It's very interesting. Uh, it's a very interesting trainer, supporter card. Search your deck for two up to two basic Pokemon and two basic energy. Reveal them and put them into your hand. So I do like the sound of this. Um, you know, I feel like supporters... Unless it's something insane like Guzma, you know, it just needs to give you a good amount of card. You're just going for card advantage. And this stuff does it, but it's for very specific things that, uh, you know, turn one, this sounds like a good way to establish your bench and you can get some energy for, you know, some of those insane ramp up cards or something, or just to make sure you have your energy for turn for the next couple turns. So I feel like things like, um, you know, 
Cynthia or Magnolia, this might be, you know, it's netting four cards for one. You know, the just the at the end of the day, the amount of card advantage you gain um, could be about the same. So I do think Sonya is pretty good. Um, is it better than the straight up card draws? It, it'll very much depend on what your deck is, but I feel like it's a pretty well balanced card. It's kind of like uh, Pokemon Fan Club, but it's a little bit. I would say improved just because you net extra cards and it's not just straight Pokemon, you can get the energies that you need as well. Alright, last card that we're going to go over is Pin Pinsurchin, I think? Pinsurchin V. Uh, so it is the first V card we're talking about and comes in at 170 HP. I believe you get this uh, if you have enough League Points in Japan. And it has a very interesting ability. I do like this kind of like this idea of uh, counterattack kind of stuff, but it's also throws some chance in there. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon is damaged by an opponent's attack, flip three coins for each one, deal three damage counters to your attacking Pokemon. So anywhere from zero to 90 damage if you're attacking it. This feels, and then has sparking attack for two lightning, one colorless. 120 damage. This feels very similar to that Duraldin. Uh, it's a very interesting card, uh, but I think it comes short on all fronts. You know, up to 90 damage sounds great, but if we just assume, uh, you know, on average at the end of the day you deal like 4 damage once all. Actually, that's not bad, but this thing isn't sturdy enough. If there is some kind of interesting V Max, maybe that this can turn into down the line, but as is, like its attack just isn't strong enough, doesn't have any special abilities to it. So for this thing just to be a discouraging wall that, oh, I don't really want to attack it because the counter attack might be too much, like it doesn't deal enough of that, it doesn't have enough HP to uh, make that lack of damage okay then it's crackback attack is not strong enough either so uh kind of like on all come has a lot of different um kind of like verticals none of them are good enough in my opinion uh so of these new cards definitely the one that's most interesting would be the cursola yeah i just thinking like this thing could just be a hard counter to v max type decks uh so that's it for today as always guys let me know in the comment down below what your thoughts are on any of these cards and if you can think of any great combinations uh from any of the other sword and shield cards but uh that's gonna be it for me today as always thanks for watching like comment and subscribe all down below i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time